Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Germany up against Finland. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's the Finland team. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Just the challenge that was required. Joshua Kimmich. Good strength to keep the ball. And Kai Havertz. Now Müller. Following the clearance, it will be a corner. <laughs> Trying to deliver accurately. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Muller. Can they forge ahead? Kimmich. Can he find the net? Body on the line. Not covering up defensively. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? They take it short. Rudiger. He must finish. And there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead. It had been coming. Yeah. 
Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Joel Poyan Palo. Puki. Getting in there to intercept. And well, they've given him too much space. That'll be Finland's throw in. Puki. And bizarrely, that's offside. Well, that's really sloppy. That was a great opportunity to keep the ball high up the pitch and work an opening. <laughs> Müller. Kimmich. They couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. He's found a pocket of space. This looks more than decent. A poor cross, all things considered. Kai Havertz. This is Müller. Moving it forward. doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back well let's have another look it's a wonderful bit of interplay to start the move and his movement's so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Number seven, Kai Havertz. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Puki. And he takes it on. Well, it might still work out for them. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Tilo Kier. This is Müller. Leon Goretzka. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Oh, showing excellent vision. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, you might say he's a bit unorthodox, Thomas Müller, but my goodness, he's so very effective, Stuart. Well, what a midfield performance this has been. He's been clever on the ball, he's worked hard out of possession, and he's dictated the flow of the game. Absolutely brilliant. They take it short. And the ball moving once again. The pendulum having already swung Germany's way. Will we see more dazzling football from them in this second half?
which is a decent looking attack here well, possibilities inside the box Gnabry Havertz on to Kera. accurate pass upon accurate pass Muller back with Zane determined defending Blood Temo Puki going well well it came to nothing in the end Raum Joshua Kimmich Havertz Gnabry cleared away and Müller has it now it's a promising position you've got to say well as you can see Germany have had the majority of the ball yes they've played well when going forward but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here and it makes them such a good team it's been a brilliant performance so far Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Müller. Into the final 20 minutes. Joel Poyanpalo. Puki. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Müller. Serge Gnabry. And the attack continues with Müller dragging it forward. Müller Good work to win it back high up the pitch Gives it a go And a fine stop and Can they create something? A deft clearance Gnabry Now with Müller Can he find the net? And diving to thwart him. And time for the change now. Over it comes. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Gnabry. And back with Kimmich. Gnabry. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And now the delivery. Not did his job defensively. Oh, good-looking run. Well, it all counts for naught. There it is, the final whistle. Disappointment in the camp because it goes into the books as a defeat, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, in typical fashion, at times, Kai Havertz made it look easy. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?